good bro i hope you had a great day today i want to show you how you can make an evil plug type beat and you already listened to the beat in the intro so i'm not gonna play it right now we will go right into the piano roll and i'm gonna show you how i made this so let's start with this melody i don't know what this is so i'm just gonna play it and explain later Okay, so this is, I don't know, uh, I think it's a pad from Nexus and I just made this melody with the classic evil notes, if you know what I mean. So these are all the notes in the scale that sound very dark and evil and I just came up with this melody, so nothing crazy here to explain. And this is just repeating the whole 8 bars. Then I got this sound, I don't know what this is. Okay, so I think this is a pad from Purity and this is just to bring some texture and atmosphere into the beat and just complement with the other melodies. Let's go over to the next sound. We have this right here. Adding texture and some atmosphere with this sound so as you can see the dark scale F and F sharp. If you go, I don't know, it's a half semitone, but if you place down an E or an F and then go up half a semitone, then you can trust me, it's always gonna sound evil. So I'm gonna show you with the E and the F. Oops. So yeah, you can see very, very dark and evil. And this also works with the a and the A sharp. So let's go over to this melody. And this is a piano from Analog Lab. And let's listen to this. Okay, so very, very dark melody. And also right here, only the dark notes. So I made this little melody and then I place down some bass notes based off this root note. So I took this and put it one semitone down. I mean one octave and then at the end of every four bars I put this little melody uh, just for some variation and to create a better transition between the bars. That's it for the piano melody. And then we have this sound. Yeah, this is the classic plug sound from Purity. You can say I have four tracks that are only working because they are working together, if you <laughs> understand what I mean. So on so alone these melodies wouldn't work, but together with the other melodies they work really well. And now I'm gonna show you the drums that I made. Okay, so let's go into the hi-hat and yeah, you can see this goes crazy. When you listen to Slime Cito, you can hear that his producer, he often uses this hi-hat roll at the beginning of the bar and bro, this, this is so like energetic, really just go crazy and you can see in many Slime Cito beats, he has this, uh, I don't know, it's a one step. I don't know the name bro, it's a one step hi-hat pattern, so this right here, and then yeah, at the beginning of every two bars I added this Sensei ATL hi-hat roll, yeah I'm gonna name it like this, and then the one step hi-hat pattern, and I also added some, some notes hitched down and pitched up, some hi-hat rolls at the end of the every four bars so yeah this is kind of a transition too and let's listen to this singled out and then you can get a better picture yeah 
not much to say to the claps. It's just the classic trap clap pattern and then I added some open heads and I added this sound effect. I don't know what this is. Sounds like an alien, alien attack or something. I don't know. And then, yeah, this like shaker. And I added this stupid cool sub. And you can see that I stayed in the root note all the time. And I didn't went up because, I don't know, I tried to pitch some notes up, but it sounded not very good. So, yeah, I left it like this. I'm not going to explain the pattern, but what I did with the 808 is I went into the sampler and first off I activated cut itself and then I made this envelope settings so I put all these knobs down and only the hold to 100% and this is so I can control how long the 808 hits and when I not when I don't click the 808, then it really stops directly. Yeah, so if I didn't have all these options, we can I can show you that too. Then this would sound like this. Yeah, so you can see I stopped clicking, but there's still a little sound of the 808 and I don't want it, especially at the end of these eight bars, because I made this little uh, I don't know, this little 8 weight break or something. Alright, then I added these sound effects and then this transition. And yeah, let's get over to the mixing. Really bro, I can't tell you much about the mixing because I almost did nothing except cutting out some frequencies of the melodies and then yeah also of the drums and for the 808 I put on a compressor and the fruity soft clipper with the basic preset and then I boosted up the low mid end so it kind of hits harder and I put down all the high end of the 808 with this knob and yeah that's basically it alright so I hope this tutorial helped you a bit to make some better evil plug type beats or slime cedar type beats whatever I posted a uh, evil plug loop kit a few days ago and if you want you can check that out I'm gonna put the link in the description definitely check out the evil plug tutorials that I did they are very good too yeah I'm gonna put every link in the description that you that you could check out leave a like subscribe and have a blessed day bro